On the heels of what many consider one of the most significant events in crypto history, Ethereum's move from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake, the White House released its first-ever comprehensive framework for responsible development of digital assets. The Comprehensive Framework for Responsible Development of Digital Assets is a follow-up to the March 9th executive order previously made by President Biden. President Biden's March 9th executive order on ensuring responsible development of digital assets outlined the first whole-of-government approach to addressing the risks and harnessing the potential benefits of digital assets and their underlying technology. The executive order called on government agencies to produce varying forms of research regarding consumer privacy and protection, energy usage, and central bank digital currency benefits and risks. In accordance with the nine reports submitted to the president to date, the White House intends to empower the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodities Futures Trading Commission to aggressively pursue investigations in the digital asset space. The U.S. Treasury will take an active role in working with financial institutions to help identify and mitigate cyber risks through data sharing and analysis. It is also tasked with working with regulators to ensure crypto firms have regulatory guidance. The collapse of protocols such as Terra Luna and crypto institutions like Celsius gave the government an opportunity to come in and clean up the bad actors. Many crypto enthusiasts have been calling for oversight as the crypto market has seen its fair share of bad actors. However, as the crackdowns begin, though not exactly clear on the exact measures, this lapse in the crypto market provided an open field for the government to push its own agenda. FedNow and CBDC, which they touched on in the report. The report stated, The digital economy should work for all Americans. That means developing financial services that are secure, reliable, affordable, and accessible to all. To make payments more efficient, the Federal Reserve has planned the 2023 launch of FedNow, an instantaneous 24-7 interbank clearing system that will further advance nationwide infrastructure for instant payments alongside the clearinghouse's real-time payment system. Some digital assets could help facilitate faster payments and make financial services more accessible, but more work is needed to ensure they truly benefit underserved customers and do not lead to predatory financial practices. Some crypto enthusiasts and theorists see any crypto payment system via the government as the complete antithesis of the ideals of a permissionless, decentralized payment framework that is peer-to-peer. -peer. Many see any government-backed payment framework as just another step closer to totalitarianism and Big Brother surveillance, comparable to the situation in China. The government laid out its plan in four steps. Agencies will encourage the adoption of instant payment systems like FedNow by supporting the development and use of innovative technologies by payment providers to increase access to instant payments and using instant payment systems for their own transactions where appropriate. For example, in the context of distribution of disaster, emergency, or other government-to-consumer payments. The president will also consider agency recommendations to create a federal framework to regulate non-bank payment providers. Agencies will prioritize efforts to improve the efficiency of cross-border payments while working to align global payment practices, regulations, and supervision protocols, while exploring new multilateral platforms that integrate instant payment systems. The National Science Foundation will back research in technical and socio-technical disciplines and behavioral economics to ensure that digital asset ecosystems are designed to be usable, inclusive, equitable, and accessible by all. In addition to its own payment framework, the U.S. Treasury plans to work with allies such as the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the Financial Stability Board to take an active role in working with financial institutions to help identify and mitigate cyber risks through data sharing and analysis. The U.S. Treasury is also tasked with working with regulators to ensure crypto firms have regulatory guidance. The report briefly touched on what many believe to be the ultimate surveillance tool and the real hidden agenda behind all of this, which is the U.S. CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Many analysts and enthusiasts see the CBDC as a disaster for a multitude of reasons, while others see the CBDC as a connection to Klaus Schwab and the WEF. Nonetheless, the report mentioned a potential CBDC, its benefits, and goals. The report stated, A U.S. CBDC, a digital form of the U.S. dollar, has the potential to offer significant benefits. It could enable a payment system that is more efficient, provides a foundation for further technological innovation, facilitates faster cross-border transactions, and is environmentally sustainable. It could promote financial inclusion and equity by enabling access for a broad set of consumers. In addition, 
it could foster economic growth and stability, protect against cyber and operational risks, safeguard the privacy of sensitive data, and minimize risks of illicit financial transactions. A potential U.S. CBDC could also help preserve U.S. global financial leadership and support the effectiveness of sanctions. But a CBDC could also have unintended consequences, including runs to CBDC in times of stress. Recognizing the possibility of a U.S. CBDC, the administration has developed policy objectives for a U.S. CBDC system, which reflect the federal government's priorities for a potential U.S. CBDC. These objectives flesh out the goals outlined for a CBDC in the EO. A U.S. CBDC system, if implemented, should protect consumers, protect economic growth, improve payment systems, provide interoperability with other platforms, advance financial inclusion, protect national security, respect human rights, and align with democratic values. But further research and development on the technology that would support a U.S. CBDC is needed. The report caused quite a stir on Twitter. Plan B, the anonymous analyst, tweeted out, The White House has no idea what Bitcoin is. No clue. Zero. We are early. Crypto Fall stated, The government knows that they missed the boat. With other countries around the world starting to hold and mine their own Bitcoin, though, it can't be controlled. They are looking to FUD the market to buy some cheap sats. In my honest opinion. Speaking of FUDding the market, Michael Saylor tweeted out, The latest White House crypto climate and energy report is full of misinformation generated and promulgated by unscrupulous crypto promoters in order to undermine Bitcoin and champion their own interests. What do you think of the White House's report? What do you see happening with the White House's framework? Leave a comment. If you found value in the content, hit the like button, as that greatly helps the channel find similar viewers like you. If you're new to the channel or not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, as we put out daily content to keep you up to date on the current market and news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.